What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the Naked Skin by Slick Raps. <laughs> As smartphones start really stepping up their games in terms of their physical designs, consumers are stuck in a bit of a conundrum. Flagship phones like the new Galaxy and iPhones are indeed beautifully designed, but are also quite expensive. So what to do? Cover up the phone with a case to protect your investment? Or enjoy the phone as is and assume the risk of physical damage? Now I'm personally one of those people that like to enjoy the phone as is, but I don't want my phone to get all scratched up in day-to-day -day use. That's why I've been a fan of using skins as opposed to cases for the past couple years now. I recently picked up the new iPhone 7 Plus in this beautiful matte black color, and I was on the hunt for a skin to wrap up my new phone when I stumbled upon this one, the Naked Wrap by Slick Wraps. Now the appeal of this wrap is that it offers a way to maintain the physical look and the color of the phone while still offering protection against dings and scratches, so it claims. Now I have enjoyed almost all of the skins made by Slick Wrap, so I thought I'd pick this one up, give it a try, see how well it works on my iPhone 7 Plus, and see whether or not it sucks. Now I did film a bit of me installing this thing, but if you have one of these wraps, I highly recommend using the video Slick Wraps has on installation. I'll put a link in the description below. Now the installation of this particular wrap is a bit different in that it's a wet installation. Slick Wraps provides a spray that is used to wet your hands and your device before applying the wrap. Now once the device was sprayed down, I lined up the holes for the speaker grills on the bottom of the phone and then moved on to lining up the camera and the flash. I then applied the rest of the wrap to the back of the phone while squeegeeing out the liquid spray at the same time. They provided me this small card to do this, but the card was pretty flimsy and it fell apart pretty quickly. So I got my own plastic credit card and this worked a lot better. Moreover, because this is a wet installation, after applying the back of the wrap on the phone, you need to wait at least 20 minutes for it to dry before applying the sides. So I waited a few hours, came back, and this is what the phone looked like. Now to be honest, it looked kind of crappy. Slick Wraps did say that you had to wait up to two days for everything to dry to achieve the quote unquote naked look. So I continued on to the next steps, which was pressing down the sides. The cutouts for the buttons on the side of the phone were all precise, but I did notice that there were bubbles forming as I was applying the rest of the wrap. Again, the instructions stated that it's quite normal for bubbles to form and that they could be pressed out after 24 hours of drying, so I didn't worry too much. Now, I didn't record applying the corners because it required a hair dryer and a good amount of concentration, and I kind of have a history of sucking at applying the corners. But after I got them on, I let the phone rest overnight, and this is what it looked like the next day. Honestly, I was kind of impressed. It looked a lot better than it did the day before, and a lot of the flaws that I noticed during the installation were gone. The wet spots that made the phone look all smudgy dried out, and I didn't have any gaping bubbles on the back of the phone. And overall, the matte black color of the phone is well preserved. It doesn't look distorted or discolored to the point where the phone looks all weird. Now when I picked up this wrap, there were two options for it, a matte finish and a glossy finish, likely for those who have the jet black variant of the iPhone. And I obviously got the matte black option, and it does have this nice matte finish that is surprisingly very smudge and fingerprint resistant, a really nice touch. I will say though, it doesn't have that much grip to it. It's a little bit better than the phone having no wrap at all, but it's still pretty slippery. Not as much textured grip than some of the other wraps out there. So if you're used to having your phone slip out of your hands often, you may want to consider a grippier option. Moreover, there were some small bubbles on the sides and around the camera hump that for the life of me, I just couldn't get rid of. I tried a whole lot of pressure and I even popped tiny holes in them with the pin to try and get the air out, which worked for some, but not for all. Now I will say that these flaws may very likely have been caused by my own poor installation skills, which I mentioned before kind of sucks. And I imagine if you take your time and follow the instructions carefully, you could get this wrap on your phone perfectly and it would look really nice. So does it suck? No. No, it's actually pretty cool, and I can see a lot of people digging this skin. Now if you're like me though, in that you're semi-obsessive compulsive, and you can't get past those tiny flaws, I have an alternative. This is the matte black skin for the iPhone 7 Plus made by dbrand, a great option for this particular phone. Now installation of this skin was way easier because it's a dry installation, so no needing to spray anything and spend hours waiting for the skin to dry. Plus, because it isn't transparent, 
It's a lot more forgiving in terms of visible flaws. It's really hard to distinguish any tiny bubbles that are a lot easier to see on the naked wrap. And I gotta say, I'm quite happy with the way the phone turned out. It looks really clean. Now it does cover up Apple's exterior color and design, but in a way that maintains the original stealthy look that makes it so appealing. Either way, if you're looking for a way to preserve your phone's look, both of these skins get the job done. Now if you want more information on slick wraps or deep brands, I've left some links in the description below. That about does it for this review, leave me a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave me a comment on what you think of the naked wrap, and which one do you think looks better. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.